Sometimes, when you can't shake a branch or scoop them off of something, you need an alternative. That alternative is known as a bee vacuum or bee vac. A bee vacuum is a pretty tricky piece of hardware because you don't want to harm the bees in the process of sucking them up. So you have to reduce the pressure from a normal vacuum into something that's very gentle and has a very controlled flow. You also don't want to dump them into a small container. So what we're doing here is that container feeds into what looks like a strange box, but it's actually a regular hive super with frames that has a special top board and a special bottom board. The hose feeds into the top of the unit. And as you can see, the vacuum is very gentle. There's an air bypass door on the bottom that allows you to make the flow of air even that much more gentle. You really want it just enough so that the bees are falling in the hose and can't fly back. There's also a little gate at the top to prevent them from coming out when you transport the bees. Let's look at the individual pieces a little closer. The bottom has a screen on top of it. So basically the high pressure of the vacuum does not come close to the bees themselves. The airflow through the chamber, through the, through the hive body, is going to be very, very low, but we obviously don't want the bees sucked into the vacuum itself. On top of that bottom goes a regular super full of wax frames, and that can be either a medium super or a deep super. It's whatever's handy. If you have a large swarm, obviously you're going to want a larger super. You can see right below the frames is where the screening is. So the bees are never in danger. The top of the unit basically has a piece of plexiglass so that you can observe what's happening as you're, as you're vacuuming your bees up. The whole thing is held together with a ratchet strap. Again, if you look at the front where the hose is, there's a little door that has a screen in it. The bee vac really is a last ditch option if you have no other way to catch a swarm. If possible, you want to be able to find and grab the queen and put her in a queen cage and then vacuum the swarm. Or if you've shaken the swarm and you have some persistent bees that just want to hang around, that's when the bee vac comes in handy. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this crazy invention.